welcome to Rocket League. Uh, this is a relatively new game. came out earlier this month. I've been playing it quite a bit, uh, and I wanted to talk about it for a little while. Uh, Rocket League is a physics-based vehicle soccer video game developed and published by Psyonix. Uh, it's out for the PS4 and the PC, uh, as I said. Uh, came out earlier this month. Uh, it is, in fact, a sequel to a game that came out in 2008 that I have never heard of uh, called Supersonic Acrobatic Rocket Powered Battle Cars colloquially uh, S-A-R-P-B-C that's the last time I'm going to say it because that's a really long name and frankly uh, I don't really have any uh, idea what kind of a game that was I never played it uh, but it does give you some idea of what you're going to get in Rocket League um they are apparently quite similar games, um, but uh, this one includes single-player and multiplayer modes, uh, which you can play locally or online. So, jumping in here, uh, I just designed uh, this car oh, about half an hour ago. Uh, I think I'm going to go in and, and change it again. Um, the game is full. So, let's take a look at some of those. Uh, the first page here, uh, different cars. So this is considered the body of the car. And uh, the, the different vehicles offer very slight differences to the gameplay. Um, the, the big ones, like these, uh, don't feel uh, a great deal slower than some of the quicker looking ones like these. But you do feel a slight bit of difference when you jump and when you flip. In terms of how you think you can hit the ball and all that sort of stuff, so there's uh, a very slight um, choice to be made here, but all in all, not not really the degree of difference that that one might expect. Um, so taking a look here uh, through some of the other options, I can paint the car however I want. Uh, I unlock more paint jobs and more. More uh, options here by doing things in game while having these items equipped. So, uh, in, in some sense, you do sort of level up. Uh, you can see wings here uh, as tracking saves. So, while equipped, the item tracks how many saves I get. Um, that's neat, but uh, I'll touch more on this later. It doesn't really come through uh, as, as uh, you know, what, what I want it to be. And anyway, uh, looking through some of the more customization options here, uh, with an accent color on your car, you can add just about any color you want. Uh, matches, uh, online matches are always between orange and blue, so it's a little bit foolish uh, to put orange on a blue car. It'll just confuse people. So let's get that out of there. Uh, we got a blue car. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it a blue car. Okay, so we got some deep purple wings there on a on a blue car. Um, with every color, so, so the primary color, obviously for a blue team or orange team, needs to be in that spectrum, uh, so your teammates can recognize you, uh, but within those options, there's uh, this option for e each and every color to make it corroded, uh, matte, or metallic. Glossy and semi-gloss are, are, well, shiny, but basically the same thing, and not all that different from metallic. Um, so you basically get three options. You can have a shiny, uh, a not shiny, or a corroded. And uh, I usually go with corroded. I think it's actually a decent look. Um, changing the orange side now. can make it pink and orange. Yeah, it's, it's very bright and sparkly. Neat. Uh, looking at the tires. I've got just about all the tires unlocked now, I believe. Um, so you can, you know, screw some different tires on there. Um, the menu noises that you're hearing here is something I'm going to touch on later. Um, so maybe just to take, take a moment to listen to that and remember that. I'll put the red wheels on there, uh, and then I get to choose also my rocket trail. Uh, I've got quite a few of these unlocked. I don't think I have them all. Uh, I've got snowflakes. You can shoot slime out of the back of your car. A rainbow. Doesn't like a rainbow. Uh, sparkles. Some standard smoke. Flowers. Grass. Money. All sorts of different things. I'm going to go with slime, because who doesn't like good slime? Um, then you've also got an option for a topper here. Uh, you can put different hats on your vehicle, devil horns, all sorts.
sorts of things. Uh, my favorite has been the Halo, but we're going to put a taxi top around there because reasons. Uh, looking at the antenna here, uh, we see the first little bit of cross promotion. Uh, this is a, a black light retribution helmet, also a black light retribution flag. Um, there's Warframe, there's Twitch, uh, Unreal, so there's definite uh, definite options uh, if you want to uh, you know, share your favorite game, but at the same time, uh, some cross-promotion going on, and it's kind of the only place where there is cross-promotion in the game. Um, I don't know if, if that was just... I don't know why that is, frankly. Um, but... Uh, I think there are some other places where they could they could afford to, to do some cross promotion. Um, I'll come to that later. For now, uh, we've got a different looking car. You can kind of see how uh, how many options there are, how deep that customization really goes, and the fact that you unlock it, uh, unlock more options as you play, um, and, and they do come fairly rapidly, is a nice touch. Um, if it took too long, you know, to get something new, then I would say it wasn't. But uh, it, it's well paced out in that respect. Um, one of my other favorite things about the game here um, is that I'm able to save replays of any match um, as long as I'm, I'm you know, on the ball um, and then I can rewatch that match in its entirety later. So I've got a list here of uh, some matches that I really liked and I wanted to hang on to. We're going to start with the uh, 1v1 match here uh, and I'll start to show you some of what makes this game so much fun. So here is me, Dr. Hurt, playing against Sky Warrior. Um, in this match, it is just 1v1, as I was saying, and that means if you mess up, you really you really look like an idiot, like that. Uh, so he scores in about 13 seconds um, to start the game off, and I'm already trailing. So now I don't feel like I you know, want to miss anymore. <laughs> uh, I'm still going to, though, uh, unfortunately. You know, as, as I've played uh, more and more, I've certainly gotten better at um, hitting the shot that I try to hit. But, uh, you know, it's, it's not necessarily a very easy game. Let me give you a, a closer look uh, here at a little bit more what it's like um, to actually play from behind the car here. Um, when you flip, it doesn't quite look like that. But, um, you know, it, it definitely is disorienting. So there, I, I blew him up, he respawned, the ball basically bounced on his head as soon as he came back in, and it got knocked in. So his first goal uh, was his fault. Uh, his second, or my first goal, was, was also his fault. Um, so, the, uh, oh, got it on tilt now, hang on, let me fix that for you. And then I tried to chip it in, no good. Uh, I'm going to try and follow the ball around a little bit better here. But with the, the, the quick driving, uh, the jumping, the flipping, and all that sort of stuff, you can see how quickly this game just turns into, uh, let's see, there we go, okay, sorry about all of that flipping around, um, so you can see, you know, how, uh, especially in a 1v1 match, everything that you're doing really does matter. Where, where you land after you, uh, you know, take a swing at the ball uh, matters. Whether or not you hit it, where you hit it, how it bounces, all that kind of stuff um, has a very, look at that, has a very, very immediate effect. Uh, it, is, it is very much a game of cause and effect. Um, not always the effect that you meant to cause, but, but uh, an effect nonetheless. Uh, another one of the great features, so so this is one of the things that, when I saw that this was in the game, I was extremely pleased. I could save my replays. If I did something cool, I could go back and I could record it and I could keep it. Um, I've definitely lost some things I meant to keep just because I forgot to save the replay at the end. I was doing chatting or, or, or you know, uh, whatever the case may have been. Um, but at the same time, when I do remember, you know, I can go back and I can look at... Um, and look at you know what I did and, and why I did it right and, and I can remember how much fun it was, uh, quite frankly. Um, but what you don't see in 1v1, uh, the, the match that we're watching here, is some of the strategy uh, that will be more apparent when I, I watch. Uh, I think we're looking at a 2v2 on uh, a 3v3 after after this match here. Um, when uh, when you're playing by yourself.
myself, the, the stakes are pretty high. You know, you, you don't want to miss a single shot like I did there. Um, you can do some things that maybe you shouldn't do when there are more players around, like knock it across the front of your goal like I did um, there. But, uh, you know, a, a lot of times it comes down to, and, and I, I do feel that this is the case, that it comes down to, oh, see, I just gave up an easy goal there by not being where I was supposed to be. Uh, it comes down to player skill in a lot of cases. Do, you know, are you aware of what the other person is doing? And are you prepared to um, either stop them or, or defend um, what will happen after if you allow them to do what they're trying to do? Um, so here, you know, I'm, we're both kind of flying around the ball a little bit, trying to get on the right side and hit it the right way for ourselves. Uh, that was definitely a miss. Sometimes you can do things in the game that, that look really intentional and really aren't. Um, sometimes you can do things that are obviously not intentional, like that, where I just, you know, helped him tap it in uh, to my goal and, and ensured that I had no chance of defending it. Uh, right after that, he comes down and he tries to take the shot, bounces off of the top post there, uh, comes back my way. So just like that, because there's a wall right above the goal, um, you know, the, uh, something that looks really good for you can turn into something that's really bad for you. Um, that's the sort of pace, uh, the sort of speed that the game uh, really, acceler er, <laughs> really accelerates at, uh, really um, does a great job with. Um, it, it adds tension, it makes things feel challenging, it makes them feel frenetic, uh, and all of that comes together into a very exciting uh, kind of game that, that when I watched the trailers for Rocket League, I saw, but didn't necessarily believe, uh, was, was really going to be there when I got the game in my hands. Um, I would stand corrected on that point. The, the pace is absolutely there. And uh, even times like this, where it frankly is you know, a little bit slower there, waiting to drain up the clock, um, the, the tension remains high because you can score so many goals so quickly. Um, there, I just took a shot, and I missed, and he got a shot back, and he missed. It's my lucky day. Um, you know, he, he tried to turn it around there. He couldn't quite get all of it, so he just kind of knocked it a little bit. I tried to shoot it at the goal. Yes, I was trying to shoot it at the goal. Uh, missed pretty wide there. Left one out in the field, and now the Sky Warrior is carrying it down. Uh, overtime is sudden death. First person to score will win the overtime. And uh, I certainly don't want it to be me. Um, so I'm playing my very best here. Uh, even my very best sometimes hits the ball into the wrong corner. Look at that. A huge, high, bouncing ball, and it almost goes in. He follows it up and again is denied. Now he's way out of position. I've got just enough boost. I'm going to push it towards the goal. Yes. I bounced it off of the pole here. And in, in overtime, that is a killer. Four to three, I win, basically because Sky Warrior got unlucky. And two shots that might have gone in, barely didn't. The ball came back my way, and I took it to the house. Um, yeah, rough game, but uh, wait till you see the next one.